guys so much. I missed you as well, by the way. Hang on, listen, we're in the car. So... We're somewhere already. I think you already know if we start a video in the car, Angels, you know it's a big deal. It's gonna go down. You know that. So, Con, would you like to explain what we're doing today? I really, hang on, I really missed you guys. Can I just say that? Really missed you guys. Uh, we didn't upload on Sunday, did we? I know, Apologies. very annoyed Apologies. at us. But that. this video, oh, this is something that I've wanted to do for a long time. You but, have. But I've never actually thought, ah, oh, I'm gonna do it. Like, I've never, like. Yeah, but no, no, can't. You know I mean? Like, do you actually understand how strange that is for me too? Because but you don't believe you, in it. And you love this. Oh, this is what yeah. you live for. This is like time number 100 for me. So, though. me and Ellie, we are about to go and get our futures read. We are outside a sidekick right now. They, I, I assume she knows we're out here recording because oh, that's why we're late. Does. We'll walk in, say sorry, late. We'll be like, she'll be like, I know. Don't need to explain yourself. Yeah, Sit like, down. listen, I know you already had traffic half an hour ago on this certain road and it was this colour car and blah, blah, blah. There wasn't traffic houses. You yeah, taking too long to get your makeup done. No. Then you start. Explain your okay. psychic okay. stuff. Okay, angels, listen. I'm just going to jump straight into it. I am basically a psychic myself. I won't lie. I do have a sixth sense. I tell you what, I think I'm a bit psychic. Oh, though, don't I? Con, <laughs> you can't just hype yourself up. No, like I that, do. Though. I always you say don't. stuff. Not on my level, Con. I'm Sam on, once ever head, mate. Con, I'm not above on... you. No, 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 no. Come I'm, on. Yeah, I am. Can't, can't you just pick me up for one, like, one thing? Like, can't I just be the psychic one? Can't I just be that? You are literally better at everything one, else. Though. You're not the psychic. <laughs> the angels. To cut a really long story short, I have just always been very spiritual. I don't really show it too much on the channel. I say a few things here and there because you know sometimes <laughs> I just can't keep it in. But if you know me very well, uh, you will know that I have all. Yeah, I've just always really, really been into that side you of things. You believe in star signs. You yeah. believe in all of that. Don't yeah, you? Oh and I. Actually, in my life, okay, so I'm 23 years old. Since I was 18, I've actually been to see about, I think it might be four or five I'd psychics. Say five. And they all have different. Uh, Believe it or not, they all say something different. Ooh, no, can't, oh, no, it's not saying something different. They all have different techniques on how they do things. So some literally just need. So if I was some one psychic con, I might be like, hey, okay, let me. Read my apple. palm. No, let me ha have your Apple Watch. So it's something that is like gonna. Ooh. Connect. My Apple Watch Con. I know what you psychics are like. Connor, don't say something <laughs> so rude. Honestly. They might be like, okay, let me hold this personal object and I can get, like, I can Vibe. tune into you. And then they'll just literally, like, say your future from whatever they're feeling around. You know, your spirit guides or whatever might come and join in and say hello. Or they will literally, like, give you cards that you need to pick out they're tarot cards i'm not quite sure which i think that's technique. what we're doing today i think it's going to be involving cards which yeah. i think i'm not being funny yet give me the tarot cards tarot tarot, tarot. Not tarot. and i could do a job at like that all you have to do is pick a card and you just have to apply it to yourself oh this is the card of love you're gonna find love oh wait you're in love there you go yeah well i've seen spirits so <sighs> See what I mean, angels. And then we'll explain my psychic journey okay, so far. Okay, go on. My it psychic you, journey is... I haven't got one. I do not believe in psychics. I don't believe you could tell someone's future. I don't believe you could say to me, right, Connor, at the age of 35, you are going to... Blah, blah, blah. Connor is very black and white. Connor doesn't believe in fate. Connor doesn't believe... In God. In God. Like, Connor doesn't ha believe in anything. He doesn't even believe in a soulmate. But... How rude. I am a believer. Con, do you not believe that I'm the one for you, though? Do you know what I mean? I don't believe in... Else, you know I don't believe in soulmates. Connor. You can't just even say it for this one video. That I'm Else, the I said on national television, mate. Connor, you can't even just say it now. No, because it's not true, Ellie. I don't lie to the angels. Well, do you love me? Yes, I do love you. Right, and I'm the only one, aren't I? Yeah, Sally. Thank you. So yeah, we're very, very excited. So, so can't, no, wait. No, 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 you're no. telling me I if am she intrigued. literally says to you today. I won't believe anything she says. You won't believe honest. anything, no. even if you're like, oh, I guarantee. Con, Have you told be... her anything? No, I haven't. But I guarantee, Con, there's going to be at no. least one thing that's going to rock your boat a little bit. You're just seeing. And I'll be coming out. But, <laughs> oh my God, Con! Con, please. My whole life has just changed. Yeah. Literally. Everything I thought that was. 
isn't. Anyway, angels, before we go ahead, let's just give a little bit of a disclaimer that this video is just for a little bit of fun. Um, while me, on the other hand, I'm like heavily emotionally invested into this sort of stuff, a lot yeah. of you might be like con and you just might think it's all fun and games, but whatever your opinion may be let's just please keep it nice and kind and fun in the comments yes. below we're only here for a little bit of a fun I, video well i don't believe in anything like this so i'm intrigued to see if it and this is if mainly, i could change my mind this like, is mainly to test con really so i don't believe in psychics to give him a little change bit of my mind experience. anyway right. we have to go because oh we're running two minutes late as per usual Gosh. um angels give the video a big thumbs up wish me excited. luck angels the next time you see me i could know exactly my future Huh. Yeah, and I'll finally have a date for that wedding ring getting <laughs> on my finger, love. That's the only reason you're here. Love Let's you, go. angels. See you in there. Woo! Hello. Wow. Okay. Ooh, I'm loving the smells in here. Okay, angels. She's just gone in there to sage her room. Um, there's the chakras chart there. I've actually had my chakras cleared before once. Haven't I, Colin? Remember that? About a year ago. Mm -hmm. When I had them all realigned. I'm very excited. Connor, what did you just say a minute ago? I can't remember. Con, you just said about your third eye. Oh, I feel. Con said he needed to open his third eye, and I believe him that he was being serious. Angels, angels, I don't think there's a thing. I don't think they're gonna be able to read me. Why can't my minute have to read you? Too close off. Don't worry, Con, that's why you got me. I'm doing my own zone. On. They can't handle it. I'll help open you up, alright? I'll help. Alright? I don't want to be opened up. I'm feeling a bit witchy today. <laughs> oh, okay. Right. You also need some trauma cleansing, but we can't discuss that later. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'll just put on a little bit of uh, music to cleanse yourselves with. For this part, then, if I uh, sit you metals off, could we have oh, our yeah. metals off, please? Because energy is transferable and it does it travel through metals. Okay, are you spiritual at all? Do you believe? I am. You are mm -hmm. perfect. How about yourself? No, so much, no, don't believe in this hoo ha. Uh, <laughs> days. My girl, I feel for you. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna convince him then, yes? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Make him see things. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes we don't have to see to believe, we just have to turn in. And what you will feel is your internal guidance. It doesn't have to be necessarily God. We all have God and higher intelligence within. So, this is why I like cleansing the aura to give your power back to yourselves because when we don't have no protection around our aura we do get energy clutter mm -hmm. okay so deep breaths turn it in close your eyes please make an intention to heal inner and outer above and below I don't kind of talk about your problems, what you've been through. Yeah. I'm more interested in releasing them and just so <laughs> you can upgrade yourself because it's pain and trauma that actually holds you where you are. Mm -hmm. If you can astral travel, you're gone, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. We was just watching you in amazement where you was like, I don't predict the future because you can change your future if you release. You can change your mind at any time in your life, in your life path. 
Therefore, future is not yet written. You have got great manifestation power. Very powerful couple. Fire sign and air sign. Both feed each other. And you can create heavens upon earth. If you just release what you no longer need. If I may let you pick some cards. So, let me have a look at your numerology while you are having... You are choosing 9, 12. This card, which I think this one. That one, yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, a little bit about your numerology before we pick some cards. Do you look into the numerology at all? I have done briefly in the past. Are you seeing 11, 11? Yeah. yeah. I'm trying to remind you who you are. You're a spiritual teacher on the making. In a few years' time, you'll be teaching wisdom, esoteric wisdom, energy, knowledge, crystals, cards. I don't know what you're into, but you are a star child, you're a crystal child. If you're interested in crystals, card readings, angels, yeah. numerology. This is the first card that's on the deck. I don't know if that means anything to you. Two dolphins. This card is telling you to ride the wave. It was not an intentional card that I picked, but it was at the top of the deck. Sometimes you might feel like you'd like to control the situation, uh, but if you actually let the waters, water is your emotional center, you're a fire sign. How mm. is your connection with water? Do you get enough water? Do you express your emotions? There is a there's I, a blockage here, a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Yes, you shove it back in. Yeah. But you've been conditioned to do that from childhood. You could not express certain things when you were growing up. Certain traumas on top of each other. This has become your coping mechanism until now. But then, everything that you held here, do you know where they have got all gone? Here, in your heart center. Mm -hmm. Rose quartz, rose petals, rose water, they are very good uh, supplements for you to use. It doesn't help you though, you're dwelling in your own pain, mm. yet you push it down. I don't think I just so. did. Some, only sometimes. That's why you are with the air sign. He is your air. Yin and yang. To get a ring. <laughs> I don't see no ring. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> oh, ring on it. <laughs> Please hold the cards to your chest. Angels already know why you are here. You must ask. Our Father up in the heaven says, Thy shall ask and thy shall be given. So you have to ask a certain question to get a certain answer. Please pick your question carefully. Okay. First card represents your recent past. This card is called the Ghost Lands. Now, people come and go from our lives and sometimes they become dead to us, don't they? Yeah. What you have been doing is you've been going to the past quite a lot, evaluating, maybe blaming yourself, maybe trying to look for answers. Why is this happening? What could I have done better? What you have from those is excess luggage with you mm. that you carry in your head, in your throat, and in your heart center that you haven't released. Get your tears and say, say goodbye to it, if that makes sense. Because bringing it back to yourself, you're actually making yourself ill. You are born another day, you live another day. Every morning you are born, the sun shines upon you, you're a Sagittarius. You come alive every morning, reset, cleared, centered, grounded, balanced. Uh, hard eyes, questions eyes. Mm -hmm. You kind of know now how I work. Where do you want to go? What do you want to manifest? You are with the lady of the nine. Three and six is nine. Three, six, nine is a very sacred number in numerology. Now, there is no easy way to answer your question. Am I on the right path? Mm -hmm. You're never far off your path. Wherever you, re you wish to reach, you can always amend your intentions and take a detour. And you'll still end up in the same car mm -hmm. park. Sometimes the anger, the thunders, uh, the negative feelings that you feel, they don't belong to you. Do you get anxious at all? Suffer from anxiety? All the time. Yeah. 
I would like you to remember, they are not your thoughts. You need to cut your energy cords with people, ascended masters. Now, ascended masters are beings who have come and passed from earth. Jesus is known as an ascended master. Right. Buddha is known as an ascended master. This actually tells me that you are, you are superhuman intelligent. Are you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your sacra chakra, your emotional center, your waters, your waters are murky. You know, waters are murky, you can't see clearly, you can't feel clearly. As I said, one minute you want to go left, one minute you want to go right. When did you stop singing and dancing? Boys want to be a singer. It's a good singer, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> That's the problem. <laughs> I'm not a good singer. But you enjoy it. Yeah. No is Skepta. No is Skepta. No is Geeks. <laughs> so. Mm. Past life issue that you have brought. You're lacking in confidence. Maybe that's what you brought from a past life. Are you shy about about your intelligence and your your capabilities? Do you often? Represent yourself well, or um, I lack confidence massively. So, what have you brought from a past life? Do you feel witchy? Witchy? <laughs> no. Religious? Not at all. Don't believe in God. You have been killed in a past life in the name of God. You've been accused of witchcraft. You weren't a witch, but you got accused of it like many people did. Mm. Oh yeah, it's competition, let's just accuse him of witchcraft. Mm. Confidence. You were not believed. You were not trusted. When we go through traumas in past life unjustified, we will come back remembering glimpses of our past lives and be unsure, be scared of persecution, public judgment. Awesome. Fairies of the sixth dimension are waiting to connect with you. Now to connect with the fairies, you may not want to do this in a rush, but summer's coming. You can put up some crystals in your garden. You can put up offerings, like apple pie, and something sweet. That you wish connect with them and work with them. Now one thing I'm sure that you're going to like about fairies is they are extra intelligent beings like you. Mm -hmm. So you will resonate with them in energy and in vibration in thought. You know the, the speed that you think? Yeah. It is the speed that they operate in there in another dimension. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, back in the car, back in the car. We are back in the car. Hey, we'll start you. with you, Con Swift. Hey, Dad, what just happened? You tell me what happened. No, you tell me, Con. Uh... You took that so differently to how I thought you would. Why? You were into it, Con. You reckon, do you? Yeah. Well, I'm just a nice person now, aren't I? Look how relaxed he is, angels. Look at that. In comparison to when he first went in, you're like a different bloke, Con. Not. Um, I think I, I think it's nice. Like I can see why you enjoy it. Yeah. But like it's still not for me. <laughs> the lady that did it was very nice. Lovely woman. She was a lovely, woman. lovely woman. Tell she knew what she was talking about. I really enjoyed the fact that it was her. Yeah. Doing it. She was nice. Made me she? at ease. Yeah. Made me feel welcome. Took a real liking to Con. No, she did. She now. did. She did. She, she took saw. More of a liking no, to you. she saw and she saw a lot in you, Con. I can tell. Um, picked out a couple of good crackers cards for me. Yeah. I'm a mastermind, apparently. Super Genius. intelligent. <laughs> Why'd you stop singing and dancing? Yeah. yeah, but I, I think it's just the person I am. I'm still a non-believer. Do you Is see, that the word? I still don't. Yeah, but do you like appreciate the cards that you picked and like? Do you see any relevance of any of it? Really? I did, Con. Come on, I your don't confidence. Know. Yeah, Con. Els. I don't know, man. <laughs> there wasn't a card that said you you lack confidence. It was just a card, and then she spoke about it, and then a couple of words happened to relate to me. Okay, Con still doesn't believe then after his first psychic. Although no. 
I don't. But there was a couple of things that she, like, she said your birthday is on the 9th. Yeah. I don't know how she would, like, she probably Facebooked you. No, I don't know, Con. And then my birthday, did she? She also, no, she did. She said 3 6, 3rd of June. Did you, did that not, did that not click? Shit! Did that not click in your head, Con? I really hope I got that on camera. No, Honestly, Angels, she was like, she was like, no. 3 6 is 9. And no, it's my lucky number! She looked at me and she winked right at me and I knew what she was talking about. Oh, no. And I said, I knew, I bet, I, I bet, I bet Con hasn't got that. 3rd of June, 3 6 is 9, which is me, my birthday. And my lucky number. Yeah. Very powerful couple. <sighs> yeah, I'm air. And I'm honey. fire. I give you wings, honey. Yeah, and I give Don't you that fire. That. You give me that good, good. <laughs> What do you think about my uh, ringing? And I don't know how she knew I had bad knees. I was like, <laughs> I'm con. If there was on one her. time was like, in that reading her. that your head, your face was a bit like, <laughs> it was when you said you need to, you know, fix your knees and fix your back and. I was like, I'm on then. What's on, going on. on here? These little things they do lead up to it. I'll just say you looked out of it when we were doing the warm up thing. No, <laughs> right. <laughs> With this warm up thing, yeah, she never said to open my eyes, so that's why I didn't open them. No, she said she went come back to your body. Yeah, but she never said open my eyes. Yeah, but like, that's that, just like. What? I didn't know, it's my first time ever doing it, I didn't know. Yeah, but so I just stood it wasn't there still. even. No, but listen, I just sat there still. it wasn't even like you just had your eyes shut. Your your eyes were doing what they do when you when you dream. And they were like going this way and that way and this way and that way under your, under your eyelids, and I could see. Well, hey? Yeah. And we were talking about you and you couldn't even hear us. Yeah, I was going to say that. Oh, with Gemini? Yeah, but other than that. <laughs> what else did you say then? Nothing. <laughs> exactly, mate. And you were like this. Yeah, she made me do that. My hands, <laughs> like, just... yeah, my hands like this, and then she put my phone on like that. She did. I was like that. She did it, <laughs> Now tell me about your experience, honey. Well, what did you think of mine? Because I think the angels already know what I thought of mine. I thought it was amazing. Any moments in my reading? There was a couple, but I forgot them. Oh. I'll have to watch it back. The fact that she said you have trauma from zero to seven. Yeah. Because that's truth. Yeah. Um, as well, truth about mainly like why your parents are why that like the way they are. Yeah. Like the like your dad has a temper on that, yeah. and it's because she literally. And then she said. He was rejected. Oh, God. Yeah, oh, mate. Honestly, all this. Oh. Wait, no, honestly. I, no, I was thinking that. I was as well. like, jeez. She was literally saying so much stuff about that that just was like relevant. I think she was more on it with you. Probably but I think that's because you're more open to it. Yeah. But I was just like, yeah. yeah. I was like, yeah, I lack a bit of confidence. Yeah. Whereas you would be like, you're open to the whole experience, and I think unless you're open to the experience, you don't get the most. You don't out get of it. it, yeah. Because you need and your I third eye needs to be it. open, hun. Yours yeah. is. Um, oh no, wait! Please tell me we've got the stuff about fairies on camera. Why? Because. <laughs> why? Well, yeah, you laughed at that, and I was yeah, like, why? Yeah, because are you do you know why? It's because it wasn't anything about like fairies or anything like that. But what made me laugh was when she told Con to go and burn apple pie out. <laughs> go and burn apple pie out in the garden. I thought Herbie would get that straight away. <laughs> And Con would say, no Herbie Dutch for the fairies. <laughs> and he'll come in and have like crust around his mouth. Like. Overall, I personally found the experience very interesting, but I always knew I would. Yeah, I enjoyed it. I always knew like, I would. Because I've never been to one, so I was intrigued to see what all the f hype is about. Sorry that it's in the car as well, Angels. I know, Angels. I'm sorry about that. We just want to make sure we've got our fresh thoughts, you know? Leaving that, has it made you feel any different? Like... Um, Going forward, are you going to put anything into motion? I don't know if it's necessarily made me feel any different, but... Because I am... It's hard, alright? Yeah, Els? I'm not that emotional. I know. So, it would have had to be an extreme amount to make me actually feel different in some sort of way. I know. But I, I mean, I kind of agree with a couple of things she said. Like, I need to be the base... Yeah. Sandra? Mantra? Chakra. Chakra. You need to get your base sorted. Yeah, and yeah. then that will potentially yeah. help with my confidence and my yeah. anxiety. Yeah. She loved it, didn't she? She loved us together. Yeah. She couldn't get enough of it. Yeah. She said we're a power couple, Con. Power couple, we should uh, learn Reiki together. Reiki together. You're welcome. I need to research the planet Siri. I'm a feline. Come from different planets, Con. Anyway, angels. Anyway, angels, if that you are, go if you live near a psychic, I recommend you go and get a reading. A little bit fun, you know. 
if not just for fun just to you know because we did it i know this video was very very different for our channel and um it was just a little bit of fun i feel like in there things got a lot deeper than we expected them to get so yeah. sorry that this video wasn't very like ah fun la di da laughing all the time but i know that you guys would have wanted us to bring you along on this experience and i'm really glad that we did i hope you guys have enjoyed it let us know in the comments below what experiences you've had with psychics mm. or you know your beliefs it would just be interesting to know but please remember just keep it pg pg Thank you guys so much thank you so much for watching today's video angels and we will see you in the next one also this was obviously like first time going to see a psychic for con mm. let us know if there's any more first time things you want us to do oh. that'd be quite a fun series anyway love you guys bye love you